Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Will's Treasures and welcome to the Saturday morning premiere train. I want you to stick around for the next two hours and check out everybody's channel. You're here at Will's Treasures right now. Then we're going to be heading over to Silver Bowl 30 and then we're heading out west to Wild West Stacker at 11.30. Then to Mad Stacker down in Texas at 11.45. Then heading over to Every day, Coppertunity at high noon. Pistol Pack and Pilot at 12.15. Ringmaster Ray at 12.30. And Mrs. Coin Crew, my squirrely friend, at 12.45 to pull us into the station. So stick around. Make sure you like and subscribe to all these awesome channels and great people. So this is going to be a little different video. Um... A friend of mine, a good friend at work, his father just passed away about a month ago. And, you know, over the years, he would always tell me that his father was a coin collector and he had, you know, tons of coins and all this stuff. And I never seen him and everything. And his father passed away. And my friend came to me and he says, I have all of this stuff, boxes and boxes. And he would fill up suitcases with these coins and and I have no idea what any of it is can you help me you know so what he's been doing for the last week or so each day he comes into work and he brings a, a rather large box uh today he brought in a box that had about I didn't count them all, but probably had about a hundred mint and uh, mint sets and silver proof sets and mint proof sets, or from the U.S. Mint, and he just had them packed in this box. So I was going through them, and and you know I was separating the silver proof sets from the clad proof sets, and I was telling him what the key date sets were, and he had no idea what they were worth what they were, um, which brings me to what I want to talk about. Like, we're all big stackers. You know, we have lots of silver, gold. We collect coins, paper money, um, bullion, all this stuff. And what do we do with it? Do we just keep it in a box? Do you keep it in a bin? Um do you have a log of everything that you have and the worth of it? Because what I see my friend going through right now is, you know, he's going through a tough time and he is completely overwhelmed with these boxes and boxes of coins. Um, he doesn't know what they're worth, you know, and he doesn't know how to sell them, where to sell them what to do with them if he wants to keep them or get rid of them. You know, he doesn't know what to keep or what to sell, you know. So it's, it's it kind of made me think that, you know, I'm the same way with my collection. Like, I have them in in boxes, you know, I have them, you know, in a, in a set like this, you know, and these are all just silver rounds that I have in here and if I pass away you know somebody's my wife's gonna look at these and go all right they're one ounce silver you know but one like this can potentially be worth more than say this koala bear um, depending on where you sell it. So, you know, it makes me want to start to take a inventory of everything I have, write down, you know, prices, try to keep track of, you know, what I purchased them for and what they're going for today. Because, you know, she would come across a tube of pennies like this and... 1969s which you know i know what they are 
It's a Lincoln penny from 1969 minted in the San Francisco Mint. She would have no idea of the worth of these. And these are all, you know, brilliant uncirculated coins, which they're worth more than a penny apiece. But she would not know this stuff. Um, if she went into my safe, you know, it would just be stacks of stuff in there and she would not know where to start, what to do. She'd be completely overwhelmed and probably just let it sit there. Um, I mean, I do have stuff organized, like these are all silver bars in this nice, you know, guardhouse box. But I don't have anything in writing about what I have and how much it's worth. You know, she can easily see that this is 10 troy ounces of fine silver. But what's it worth? What's it worth to the uneducated person? I mean, it's just a, it's just a chunk of metal. So, it makes me want to keep track of everything that I have. Like this, this is one pound of silver. And, you know, if you went by troy ounces, this would have a certain value in silver. But this is highly collectible. It's from 2001. You don't see these things on the market. Nobody's selling them anymore. The last one I seen on eBay was going for over $400. So, it's kind of crazy to think about it. About who's going to get what you leave here. You know, and I certainly don't want to leave them overwhelmed. Um, it definitely lit a fire under my ass that, that I'm going to start keeping track of, you know, everything that I purchased, the price, and what the current value is of, in you know, in 2023-24. And yes, I know the prices can fluctuate with the price of silver. That's a given. But I don't want her, you know, just walking into a store and, you know, say, take this box, for example, walking into a coin store and going, look what my husband left me. What do I do now? You know, and... That's exactly what she would do, you know, and we have all this constitutional silver and the person, you know, at the coin store, hopefully she would run into somebody that was honest and they would give her a little bit of an education about what she had and what she can sell it for. Um... And not just completely take advantage of a grieving widow and, you know, come out ahead. You know, she would look at these foreign notes and she would be absolutely clueless of what to do with these. Absolutely clueless. These don't have a tremendous amount of value. But to the right person, you can definitely make a few bucks with them. So, just something to think about. And yes, it's in a shoebox. Put the stuff in a shoebox, put it in my safe. Easy to pull out when needed. But definitely something to think about down the road. What you're going to do with your stuff. How do you have it categorized? You know, what type of uh, value you're putting on everything at the current time that you're making your, your list. And do you go back year after year and reevaluate it? I mean, that's another thing you want to think about. But enough of that. Just something to think about. You always want to be prepared. And um, there's a couple new coins that I got. If you watched my last week's video, I had some slabbed 
um, Washington quarters that I was starting to get into. Well, I picked up another one. This is a crazy toned Washington quarter, 1953 from Philadelphia, MS-65. And it's got some beautiful color on it. Hopefully you can see it on both sides. So just a sweet toner of a coin. And again, another one to add to the stack. And I want to show you a little something that I picked up. You know, they have the, uh, the cases, the hard plastic cases that are made for NGC slabs. And then they have cases that are made for PGC, PGCS, PCGS, sorry, slabs. And you cannot intermingle them between boxes. But in this generic box, this will fit NGC slabs. And it'll also fit the PCGS slabs. Let's see if I can get one. I can pull one out real quick. See what we got in here. Yeah. You can see in this case, this is a case from PCGS. And you can see all these are PCGS. And then right here, you can see the NGC ones. They're a little taller. Um, they fit, but the lid does not close all the way on it. So, that's why I got these generic boxes. Because it'll fit the NGCs. And it'll also fit the pcg &S And... The top will close completely, whether you have an NGC slab in there or the other one. So, we're going to take these NGCs out of here. Close this back up. And we're going to put these other ones in this box. So that's where I'm going to keep my Washington collection, and it's perfect, closes nice and tight. It just doesn't have the label on it, not a big deal, not a big deal. The other purchase that I made, I was a big fan of Godzilla and King Kong when I was growing up. I mean, that was the shit. That was the show that you watched when you were a kid, and if you remember Mothra, on the other side, we have Godzilla. Too cool, right? Too cool. But beautiful Mothra, one ounce, silver round. Beautiful detail. And then we have King Ghidorah. Not sure how to pronounce it. But another cool one with Godzilla on the back. So, two new silver round pickups. Happy to have them. Add into the collection. And I actually wrote them down, what I purchased them for. I was never good at doing that. But we're going to give it my best effort, start keeping track of this stuff, and we'll see how it goes. So, friends, let's keep this trainer rolling. Click that link that we're tossing up in the chat. And let's go.